Berkowitz breaks the American record. I used to look through his running logs. I enjoyed reading some of his training, you know, and um, one thing I look back at, uh, at my father was this is toughness. Listen to this crowd, cheer him on. And that's probably why I'm a mama's boy. Um, I, I went to my mom for the TLC. I wasn't getting it from him, you know? I think it's been a while since I've run on this track. I was going to say, at least your form hasn't changed much. <laughs> Still don't pump those arms. <laughs> well, form isn't everything. <laughs> when Matthew started running, his father applied the same tough standards that had worked for him. When he laid out a game plan for his son to run a 410 mile, he expected him to hit it. I ran 412. I was off by like two seconds. 413. 413. So I call him up, <laughs> and I remember I've never gotten yelled at so much in my life. 15, 16. And he was tough about that. And the next meet, we had a plan of running 404, and I ran 404.0. So I mean, I got to say, it was uh, the right kick in the ass I needed. 47, 47, 47, 45, 41, 41. OK, he'll be fine. Looks great. And then when he gets off track, I'm going to let him know he's off track. That's not really being hard on him. There you go. Come on, son. Come on, don't ease up. There you go. That's it. Following in his father's footsteps has left its mark on the younger Centrowitz in more ways than one. I felt somewhere along the line I took a wrong turn as a parent where a Hallmark card would have been just fine. He <laughs> said he had to go get a tattoo to express our relationship. So I admit to it. <laughs> Every time I see him, flip your shirt up to like other other friends of his. He goes, your son love you like that, huh? <laughs>